Good afternoon, friends. Uh, the main uh, purpose for holding this press conference is to uh, talk about hacking of hacking to death of one of our uh, party's activists in uh, the state of Kerala. This morning, uh, a 27-year-old youth, Remit, was uh, hacked to death by political activists of uh, or political gundas of the left front, LDF in in uh, in Kerala, in the district of uh, Kanur. This was carried out as a systematic uh, witch hunt, and the, the brutal killing of uh, the youth can only be uh, understood or gauged when you look at some of the pictures th that we have received about uh, the brutal killing. The Kanur district under uh, uh, the left front, left front uh, government continues to be the killing fields of Kerala. Kerala is known to be uh, uh, a God's own country, but devils do not seem to end their uh, atrocities and, and uh, uh, perpetrating uh, political terror. Remit's father was also uh, uh, a BJP or, or was a political worker. He was also killed in gruesome circumstances by the same left democratic front and the CPM cadres way back in 2002. All this is happening in, in village Pinarai, in uh, the assembly constituency of uh, Dharmadome, in the native village of the chief minister Pinarai Vijayan. One can clearly make out this is a political terrorism being unleashed by the gundas, the political gundas of the left democratic front by the CPIM under the nose and in the village of the chief minister with his blessings and with his support. The, the, the boy, the youth who was killed today barely lives 100 meters away from the residence of the native residence of uh, chief minister Penarai Vijayan. And, the, and, and on various occasions, it has been seen that the local state police have become spectators when a chief minister, when, when uh, the patronage of chief minister is available to the political uh, murderous cadres. You can see the amount of the kind of mayhem that they would unleash. And police have really not been able to do anything. They have been mute spectators. We believe this is the, 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 the intensity of these murderous assaults has been on the rise in the last five months because the BJP is, is seen as a very potent political power that is on the threshold of a, a major success in the state of Kerala. We have seen how uh, the na National Council that was organized in Cozy Code only a, a few weeks ago, how this has really been a hugely successful event and how this has really carried the message of the BJP to the nook and corner of uh, the state of Kerala. And certainly the CPM and uh, the Chief Minister Vijayan are completely unnerved. And a lot of these murderous assaults are an attempt at diverting public attention from the kind of spate of corruption uh, 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 that, that is visible in the state of Kerala and the misgovernance and failed governance of uh, Penarai Vijayan. Our, our national uh, president, Sri Amit Shahji, has condemned uh, uh, today's uh, incident, today's murder of our, our, our youth. And um, I, a statement will be uh, issued uh, a little later, he's expressed his uh, sympathies to the, uh, the family of uh, the bereaved 
or whatever is left of the family because the father has been killed, now the son has been killed. There was a murderous assault even on the mother of, uh, uh, of the mother of the youth who was killed there today. So is this a democracy? Is this the kind of politics that uh, left parties, CPIM, uh, that they believe in? Do they not have the uh, uh, ideological strength to fight with political rivals on the basis of uh, policies, ideologies, and programs? Is this, in, in 21st century, is this how CPM knows to fight elections? I think uh, there are a lot of answers that the left parties, left government have to give today because the state government has failed to provide to ensure law and order it has failed, rather, it has actually actively, uh, 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 actively participated in wrecking this uh, violence and havoc on, on our political karyakartas. We demand that the, that the state government and Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan must immediately hand over the case pertaining to the killing of the youth today to the Central Bureau of Investigation. We have no faith in the state government. We have no faith in the in the in the state police because they they are under the uh, under the uh, powerful influence of the chief minister, and and in all such cases justice has never been given. You would all recall that honourable prime minister Sri Narendra Modi ji had had uh, 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 had a, uh, had opened or had inaugurated a, a book published narrating all the incidents of violence perpetrated on uh, our cadres titled Ahuti. It is on our website. I think it, uh, it's a shame that in a democratic country, uh, you have left gundas wrecking this kind of havoc and without being adequately panned by the national media, honestly. I would request all of you to kindly uh, read that report study the case of uh, uh, political violence uh, heaped by, wrecked by the left parties and, and give a voice to the voiceless who have been repeatedly uh, attacked in, in, in the state of Kerala. It possibly no other state and in no other district other than Kanur, you would have seen the scale of political violence perpetrated by uh, a, a political party. Out of now, it seems to be uh, suffering from a sense of insecurity, like they have been booted out of West Bengal, and there is no sign of left, left front uh, emerging or returning to power in Kerala, in, in West Bengal. Possibly the same fear seems to be gripping the left parties that once unseated from power uh, uh, in, in the next elections, possibly they would, not, they would be completely erased from the political map of India. It is this fear which is provoking them, and uh, we want answerability and accountability from the government in Kerala. And the, the first thing that they should do is to hand over this particular uh, murder that they, their cadres have carried out today, and then, uh, and, and then assure the people of the country that such violence will not be, uh, will not be repeated in future. I would also like to inform you that our, uh, that, uh, our national president, Sri Amit Shah ji, and uh, uh, finance minister, Sri Arun Jaitli ji, they have uh, uh, met, uh, they have visited the uh, chief minister of Tamil Nadu, uh, Madam Jay Lalita, have uh, uh, given her the best wishes for a, for a, for a speedy recovery. And, uh, for her long life. I think uh, uh, the entire BJP wishes the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu a very uh, a fast uh, recovery and happy uh, life. Aaj Bharti Janta Party ke Rashtriya Adjaksh, Shri Amit Shah ji, aur Desh ke Vita Mantri, Shri Sriman Arun Jaitli ji, Tamil Nadu ke Mukhya Mantri, Madam Jailalta se milkar unki uh, uh, lambi ayu ke liye aur unki uh, fast recovery ke liye. Jaldi unki swast thik ho uske liye kaam na kiye hain. Mein ye jankari aapko dena chara Thank you. Mere taraf se itna hi.
यदि इस संबंधित कुछ यदि सवाल है सॉरी कुछ पिक्चर्स आई आई वांट टू आई वांटेड टू शो यू सम पिक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू द वायलेंस दैट वाज परफेक्ट्रेटेड टुडे देखिए लुक एट द लुक एट द द ग्रूसम नेचर ऑफ द किलिंग्स आई थिंक इट्स इट इट रियली पेन्स यू दैट इन अ डेमोक्रेसी एंड दैट टू इन अ हाईली लिटरेट स्टेट लाइक केरला दैट यू कैन हैव दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ पब्लिक डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ political violence i think these pictures are there on uh, twitter as well so if anyone wants to get these pictures i think possibly we can share them but but it's important that uh, this the, the 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 kind of political violence that has been uh, have that kind of havoc that has been uh, uh, perpetrated in uh, in the state of kerala needs to come to the consciousness of this country political consciousness of this country um, we discuss even uh, uh, incidents happening in different parts of the country but somehow in our national media we have really not been uh, adequately we have not had uh, a coverage of these issues i uh, request all of you to kindly to examine these cases in in, in more detail and uh, I, and bring all these cases of political violence in Kerala under the uh, under the uh, lens of uh, the national media. Thank you. i think political parties or uh, opposition parties are feeling uh, increasingly insecure about their own uh, 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 their own position and uh, when uh, defense minister speaks with he speaks with a level of uh, uh, authority and, and and a lot of uh, uh, influence at his command i think uh, his statements are highly uh, praiseworthy and there is nothing that possibly needs to be added from my perspective as a party spokesperson <coughs> uh, two days ago yes i hear but uh, there the the the, uh, the people who are accused the, all the five or six people who were involved in that were masked are are appeal to the government in the state government is that you probe all cases of violence no case should go there is no room for political violence in in a democratic country so it's not it is just uh, because cpim makes allegations against us it doesn't become true and uh, they have not an iota of evidence when they make that allegation and in the chief minister's own village he cannot ensure law and order 18 houses have been uh, attacked in the state of uh, in the village of the chief minister after he got elected to that office there are repeated uh, uh, attempts at uh, at this particular boy's house itself the same youth was attacked earlier fortunately providentially he escaped so there is uh, an attempt to unleash reign of terror in chief minister's uh, own village not to talk of uh, the rest of the state of karnataka so if there were any other incidents by all means they should be probed and the guilty must be brought to book thank you